What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Can't you tell me through shit? Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Man, look like a titty, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today? It's motherfucking day? Trey Hood and outside. The biggest career. Yes, sir. Hey man, say man, we turn, 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 turn. Trying to have a litty day, man. Make sure you fuck with your boy. Like and subscribe to your video up. Keep on uh, liking on, on I said about to, I have to say fumble. On Rumble, TikTok, and YouTube, man. Support your boy in the grind, man. Straight to the top. Unstoppable with God, man. Come to you as a black hero. This one, like, man. Hey, man. So make sure y'all like these videos. And I, right, boom. Today. Two motherfucking day. We been talking about. Draymond, Draymond, Draymond Green, a glass donkey, <laughs> you damn donkey, a glass, hey man, say man, we been talking about Draymond Green, man, the debacle of the damn Warriors and Draymond Green and Jordan Poole, so y'all, if y'all not know, Jordan Poole got traded to the damn Wizards. Which is wild because it's like the Warriors took a chance on Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole got too damn cocky. You know what I'm saying? He came from the summer league, got this big ass contract. And I think the reason they gave this nigga this big ass contract was to get like space release. You know what I'm saying? They're like, let's give this nigga a big ass contract. And we're gonna eventually trade this nigga. We finna have a whole lot of money, cat space back, and we finna upgrade our players. And that's exactly what they did. They used that nigga Jordan Poole for that championship and dipped that nigga. Now, the niggas on, on, on the Wizards is Kuzma and um, Jordan Poole. They both got rings here there. <laughs> they both got rings. They both role players. So, you know, Draymond Green, his contract season is coming up. People was wondering if that nigga was going to... Um, Lead the Warriors and come to the Lakers or what? You know what I'm saying? Cause you know it's like his last few years. It was like his last of his contract. You know what I'm saying? So I knew it old for Jordan Poole, man. As soon as Steve Kerr jumped on the Draymond Green podcast, I was like, ah, oh, nah. You got the whole head coach on your podcast, Bruh, There ain't no way you been trade Draymond Green for Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is ass compared to what Draymond Green can do that as far as a, a, he mentally keep the team together. He's like the glue guy. They say he's really like a good, he's really good with basketball. So, you know what I'm saying? Like mentally, so he know the game. He did. So, we're going to have these couple of videos, man. One video about uh, Draymond Green trolling, uh, Dray, uh, Dr trolling Jordan Poole. Cause you know uh, it's gonna be a, a, a on TikTok this video about who they picking to be in the video to be on his team from the Wizards. And then it's about another video about how Steve Kerr jumped on the podcast. It's, and you know what I'm saying it's just a whole bunch of stupid shit, man. So we gonna put the videos in now. Washington. <laughs> Who's still on Washington team? Uh, Kuz. I'm taking Kuz at the four. And this is just next level pettiness. And you could make the argument that he didn't uh, say Jordan Poole because the point guard position was taken. But for him to say who's even on Washington now and laugh. Do that. It sounded like an evil laugh. Is just hilarious. And Draymond actually just re-signed with the Golden State Warriors for four years. $100 million deal. Uh, player option on the fourth year. I'm pretty sure Steph Curry has 
three years left on his contract, so I think he's just matched it up to go with Steph Curry. I mean, four years, he might even retire by then, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm glad he stayed. There was rumors he could go to Detroit or Sacramento. Lots of teams were popping up, but let me know your thoughts on the pettiness in the comment section and his new deal with the Warriors. Top five trash talkers in the league. Yours truly, number one. Let me not give an order, because who cares about the order? Myself, Patrick Beverly, still give it to KD. KD still talk a lot. Russ still talk. My fifth one, I got to go with uh, Chris Paul. What do you think makes a good trash talker? You got to have facts, man. You got to be willing to cut deep. Speaking on this list of guys who's won all the championships in our lifetime, you're right at the top of that list with nine championships. I know a couple years ago, um, you know, I was talking about championships, like, wow, we have three. And you like, you guys got three. I got eight. And, and you kept that <laughs> right. <laughs> and you kept that right at the top. And now we're at four. You're at nine. It's incredible. I was speaking on this. Hiding from it, the, uh, the incident with Draymond um, and Jordan at the beginning of the year played a role in that. Um, it's hard for that not to impact a team. And so, uh, you know, we... Um, feel like we have a, a great group of, of people um, on the roster, on the coaching staff, in the front office. Um, we have a, a way of doing things that we're, we're very proud of, but um, those things were definitely challenged this year. Um, anytime some trust is lost, um, then it, it makes the process much more difficult. And there was some trust lost. Um, and that's um, as blunt as I can be. There's no hiding. Max Struess comes out firing, and he's knocking him down. He gets it going. He doesn't really play in the fourth quarter. They go oh, Duncan yeah. Robinson, who, 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 again, hadn't been able to get a shot off. How do you make that decision? Like, in, in that moment, you're like, all right, we're going away from Struess, who had it going early, okay. essentially going to Duncan, who hasn't gotten anything going. Like, as a coach, how how are you making that decision in the moment like that um, on, on, like, which one of those guys you're going with? I think you have to establish that all season long, like, with, with your team. The, the message has to be whoever has it going is going to play. Mm -hmm. And the guys have to be connected enough to not only understand that, but to embrace it. You know, Caleb Martin was the star of the Boston series. Yeah. You know, he's hardly been a factor in this series offensively. Uh, didn't play much, but he hit a huge three in the, you know, in the fourth quarter tonight. And it's like none of those guys on Miami are, are, are sitting there saying, well, I didn't play or man, they put in so and so like they're just all about winning. And, and you know this from from our our groups that we've had when when you when you have that championship mentality, every guy's bought in, every guy's just trying to win. Nobody, nobody cares about any of that stuff. You don't go into the locker room, you know, saying, well, I should have played more. You just you just want to win. And that's the beauty of finding that magic when you have a championship team is that everybody's bought in and it makes the decisions for the coach um, really simple. You just go with go with your gut and go with whoever's playing well. Never a point to where I felt like, oh man, my window is closing because of my skill or because of what I bring to the table. But if we're going to suck like this every year, my window is closed because I can't get up for these meaningless games. I mean, Coach Curris told me one day, he said when they, he pulled me to the side a few years back, it's when we were competing for a championship. And it was the end of the season, maybe last seven games. We had already locked up the one seed or the two seed, whatever we were going to be. And I'm like out there just going through the motions. He pulled me to the side. He said, you have to be the worst meaningless basketball game <laughs> player I've ever seen in my life. You want to just come out the game? And I'm like, well, coach, I've been playing now. Like, I can't just come out the game. He like, all right, well, let's figure out a way to get you sitting three or four of these last seven games and still stand in shape. It was no So I right, back. Boom, we back. So yeah, man. So that was the video, man. Um Draymond Green, man. Uh trolling Jordan Poole. <laughs> and this is before he signed his um four-year a hundred million contract extension. So he got four years a hundred million. 
which to be, to be honest, that's not that much compared to what he, he could have got. Draymond Green could be almost getting two hundred million right now, like on some just real shit. He could have got like two hundred million, but you know he take he take he take these player friendly deals for the team and shit. Cause a hundred million is a hundred million. I don't care how you chop that shit up. That's a hundred mil. You know, then you do a shit a shit ton with hundred million. Shit. So, uh, Draymond Green, he got him a, a big ass contract extension. Draymond Green, I almost didn't think that he was gonna get resigned. You know what I'm saying? Because um, of his play and shit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna have that video on that bitch too. Now I think about it, cause that was a good. Um, he, he might not even make it back on the team. And I think that's what made um him get mad at Jordan Poole. Cause he's like, damn, I helped Jordan Poole become, become Jordan Poole. And they gonna get this nigga a mega contract and leave me out on the dust. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a whole bunch of tension and shit, man. And I feel like the whole team didn't like Jordan Poole, man. Clay didn't like Jordan Poole. Um, Stephen Curry didn't like Jordan Poole. The role players didn't like Jordan Poole. Steve Kerpa didn't even like Jordan Poole. It was just like, like I said, man, Jordan Poole just came to a moment, man, where he just got too damn cocky, man. And sometimes, like, you know, when you become a cocky ass motherfucker, you gotta make you gotta make the plays count. So Jordan Poole hit these long ass fucking threes, but sometimes he airball that bitch when they need him the most. You know what I'm saying? And that threw off the team. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, the wait, hold on, like, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. The only person who's supposed to be doing this shit is Stephen Curry. Jordan Poole, you ain't supposed to do none of this shit. <laughs> Fuck is me too. <laughs> and you know, uh, then the Ice Spice shit, he lost 400k to Ice Spice. They're like, oh yeah, oh hell yeah, we gotta get this nigga out the paint. Ain't no motherfucking way. We finna have this nigga, um, had this nigga, um, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you feel me? Like, had this nigga embarrassed the Warriors already than what it is, you did? You know, Draymond Green already do enough of, of embarrassing the Warriors already. <laughs> you don't need that much more embarrassment, you know what I'm saying? After that. So it's just like man, Jordan Poole, man, you was at you was at a moment, man, where you was like easy bait, nigga. And, and Draymond Green, he got a four year, a hundred million deal, hundred million dollar deal. And his fourth year, he can option out to go to a different team if he wants to. But by the time four years, he probably gonna retire in his fourth year. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on how many champs you know they gonna probably win or some shit or can win. So I'm just like, man, that shit is wild, bro. Because like at the end of the day, man, um. You know, like I said, Draymond Green, he's actually a good player. Ain't like he's just ass, ass. Yeah, he got ass moments where he only scored like two, three points a game. And, but, you know, it's just like, nigga, nobody on that team finna do that what he did to, to Jordan Poole. He ain't, nobody finna do that. Nobody finna. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry show damn well he finna do that shit. We already see he having trouble with Anisha Curry. All right, that's, Anisha Curry trying to have the, trying to wear the, um, the pants in the relationship at, at that bitch. Ain't no motherfucking way. Nobody know you at all. You get you come to me and you tell you tell me you want to be a whole bitch to the curve and the kids. What we talking about, bitch? I would got I would get the most of the curve. Cause you know what I'm saying. Ain't no way, I, nigga. You eating off my back and you about to go go crazy. Talking about you want other niggas to look at you, bitch. Yeah, look at your motherfucking phone, bitch. What we talking about, bitch? What are we talking about? They go uh window shopping, then you go some some shit. Look at you, bitch. Fuck. They get you a mannequin at, in, in your bedroom where they can watch you sleep, bitch. What are we talking about? Ain't no way. Ain't no damn way. Ain't no damn way. No bitch been talking about they want they more, want more attention. What, bitch? To the streets you go. That's your attention. Fuck, we talking about, bitch. She really got all the attention. All that shit on the curb, on, in in the front yard. That's her attention. That's that's all the attention she would have got right there, bro. Ain't no fucking way, bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, and you know, Stephen Curry probably gonna stay with her because he got like kids and shit. And you know, Stephen Curry be trying to have that. We all type of good relationship. And we gonna, you know, you know, people be doing that. Oh yeah, we good. Don't even talk about the relationship at all. You know what I'm saying? No, his wife, his wife going crazy out on these streets, and he and he just got to sit here and be like, and don't leave her. Like the fuck, nigga, you crazy, nigga. That's what I said, man. These niggas be these niggas be making all this money. Be going to all these type of colleges and still no common fucking sense, nigga. Like them billionaires. Bitch, you made a billion dollars, but you think you didn't think in your mind that going on a motherfucking Titanic fucking submarine that made out of motherfucking Elmer's glue was a bad idea with a fucking logic tech controller? Nigga, you got all this goddamn money, but you couldn't think about the two the two the two main steps. The submarine was made out of glue and the, and he had a logic tech controller. Bitch, you gotta be retarded. 
You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you make a billion dollars? I guess you gotta be retarded to make a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? At these days, nigga, because anybody can make a billion dollars the way it sound like. And it's crazy. I wonder what all this money they, they lost going to. Like, I know that's gonna disappear. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gotta get the money. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit is wild, man. I, I just, and when you get this type of money, man, Drake Mind Green, man, these basketball players, they be knowing what to do with their money. Spend down some shit, don't do no retarded ass shit, and just win rings, nigga. And retire when you get older, nigga. Fuck what you talking about? Then you don't have to go to the bottom of the ocean to see the fucking Titanic or the top of the motherfucking world just to see the motherfucking um, moon, bitch. Bitch, I, bitch, they haven't, these niggas who doing all this dumb ass shit haven't even explored the whole fucking world. They stuck in one spot, they ain't even explored the whole fucking world, but they want to go out to fucking the middle of the ocean, or the outer space, looking like a dumbass. Nigga, y'all gotta be retarded. So it's just like, man, <clears throat> to, to me, I'm, 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 I'm happy for Draymond, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, when she was uh, been with this team, you know, helping niggas win all these rings, nigga, you deserve that damn money at the end of the day, nigga. Ain't no way no bum like Jordan Poole is gonna take that take that spot, you know what I'm saying? Cause now like I said, man, Jordan Poole came at the last minute, you know what I'm saying? He won one more one, one I thought they used that nigga. They they made he's like, I ain't pretty good. We gonna, we gonna invest in this nigga. We figure this nigga a match contract so we can trade this nigga and dump this nigga off so we can get some more space. Use this nigga for this one ring and yep, back to rebuilding with the with the, the core. Uh they had the same core, Clay Thompson, uh Seven Curry and Draymond, and they finna get somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like at this moment, man. If I was if I was Jordan Poole, man, I wouldn't have said nothing at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Just because off the strength of he did help you get into the NBA, and you know what I'm saying? You look at where you at now. You hit the motherfucking shadow realm wizards, nigga. You in the shadow realm, nigga. It's like you ain't you ain't coming back from that shit now. It's like I don't know if it's worse for Jordan Poole, shadow shadow realm, um. Wizards or Cancun Dylan Brooks, nigga. I don't know which one the worst is, but I mean, Jordan Poole had to keep his contract and keep him keep on playing. Cancun Brooks had to keep the get, get, gotta get the little can. Would you help me out in the motherfucking NBA? I need spread change in the NBA. That's what that nigga gonna be doing. Nigga, ain't no motherfucking way he gonna be up in that bitch just parlaying, balling, and parlaying in that bitch at all. So good shit, Draymond Green, four year, hundred million dollar deal. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um. Now, all y'all do is just play the game now, you know what I'm saying? You done done your hard part, you done the hardest part is win. So, you good now, man. So, at the end of the day, man, make sure y'all like and subscribe to these videos. up, man? Kevin TikTok, I shit for the hood. Now, it's like Crip shit, man. Keep on remembering, support your boy. We're going to keep on trying to do little teams out here. And yeah, we keep up the, um, the improvement, man, and positivity, man. Hey, man, stay turned. And we out the bitch hood. Now, it's like clear. You did. Hey, Dad, you know, dawg, when we link up, dawg, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Hold that camera.